it looks very nice that we are all in <laughs> nice t-shirts. Yes. yes. I think we need another we need another group photo. Okay. Yeah. Because this will make more Definitely. sense of unity. Yes. Uh, today we have things to do. We have plan plans that are ahead of us. <coughs> we'll uh, start by visiting. Uh, we call it a Maasai market. It's a Maasai market because most of these handmade jewelries or ornaments are made or are being produced by the Maasai women. So we say Maasai market because most of them are the Maasai who are doing these beads. And because yesterday people were looking to this handmade beads, I thought that we'll have like half an hour before we go to the museum. We pass by that uh, Maasai market. You can have a look. Uh, you can get what you think is good for you. And then we'll go to the Arusha Declaration Museum. It's a museum after the, it's been made after the Arusha Declaration when the government of Tanganyika by those days privatized all those colonial properties to the government. And thereafter we go to the German bomber, which is the colonial ruling bomber from Arusha. After the mass, uh, uh, German bomber will drive to the village where we'll visit the cultural tourism out of Arusha town. We'll start with the school and maybe we'll go to the waterfall and from the waterfall we'll come to the village to see how they do things. Yes. They will prepare lunch for us, it's a local lunch. Yes. Instead of us going to another big restaurant, we can eat from the village. And you can get the test of Tanzania, the test of Africa. Then after that, we'll come back to the hotel. The official day will be closed, and then we'll have personal day. That if you want to walk, if you want to go to somewhere, if you want to do something extra, then you will have time. Today? Shopping. Ball tomorrow, if shopping. Shopping? Shopping. Shopping. Today, shopping. Today we could do shopping. If time allows, after the, um, the, the, the all the programs that we have planned, then we can go to the shopping, and, and then we'll decide which shop we go to. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow and is the line. Should we go around here? Tomorrow is tomorrow. We morning we will be getting prepared for the flight uh, okay. to leave here twelve to drive to the airport and then fly to the snow. So the only time is in the early morning, like from 8 until maybe 11, that you have like time. And then after that, it's going to be out of our hands. The program will take over. Can we use the same currency in Dar es Salaam? In Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar, you're using shilling, Tanzanian shilling, which will help you not to change money a lot. It's shilling. And one thing, this morning I was discussing with Bomani is that uh, you want to change dollar into shilling. So before we go to the Maasai market, we'll stop at the bureau change where you can get uh, where you can get uh, shillings. You can change your dollar into shillings, and then from there you are in Tanzania fully. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if you if you. Those who will want to change, we can pass by and then we can change. And is, is the Maasai market the best place where we're going to buy souvenirs or souvenirs? Or is it yes. Uh, if you buy from the Maasai market, you're buying from the person who is producing it. Very good. Not like second hand, it's not like middleman. Yeah. You buy from the owner of the, <coughs> of the produce. Yeah. So, uh, some, some big carvings, to be honest, some big, big carvings are coming from Tuara on the toward the border of Mozambique and it's because nobody else can do it. It's only one tribe we call them Makonde. They are specialists of doing doing those big carvings. But other like the cow tail for fighting with the bugs and flies that is made here. In my house, sometimes when you slaughter a cow once in a year or twice in a year, the tail we make a, a yeah. Nice. Like, like the Jomo Kenyatta, yeah. We, we instead of throwing it, <coughs> instead of just burying it somewhere, we make a 
cow tail and then put on a nice piece of wood, let it dry and then have it. Instead of going to buy, you can make your own. Okay? Yeah. So let's start the day. Habari ya asubuhi? Nzuri. Twende? Twende means let's go. You remember I asked you tomorrow to use your book. Yeah, the book is very useful. It's got uh, lots of Kiswahili words. Yeah. It's that that will help you when you get home. Between you guys, the group from Tanzania, yes. 2020 tour. You can. You can. Yeah. To Tanzania, pale ah, bureau change, pale nas. Ah, you can. You can just like go out for dinner together and then speak Kiswahili and everyone say, guys. <laughs> what language is that? So, well, you know, we, we, we come back from Africa and we have African language. <laughs> uh, well, it will be fun if you can learn Kiswahili and make it useful for yourself. As I said yesterday, it's getting very powerful. Like Kenya, Southern Sudan, Rwanda, Burundi, Congo, part of Zambia, Mozambique. Zimbabwe, South Africa, <coughs> Namibia. Um, we have like people living in uh, what is this? Oh, it's up from. It's an African country, Morocco. If you go, we, yeah, we have a lot of our people who are doing business there. So you go to Morocco. In this capital city, you still, you still get, you still get people can use Kiswahili, and it's been passed. It, it's been passed as the, it's been passed at the uh, African Parliament as one of the communication language. So it's somebody lost the book. You put the name on the book. So. Uh, <laughs> It's getting stronger and stronger. We're heading to the center of Arusha town. We haven't passed here yet. We'll see a tower. We call it clock tower. And we make jokes. If somebody calls you, where are you? Normally say, I'm here to see what is the time. That, that <laughs> person will easily understand you're at the clock tower. This clock tower was been placed there, not, not for like, us to just know what is the time or when you're out there to know you're at the center of Arusha town. That's the halfway. That's where you can divide Africa. Halfway from Cairo to Cape or from Cape to Cairo. Really? Yeah. So where we're heading to is just, it's just the center of Africa. That's the halfway of Africa. Uh, by air, by road, you cannot get exact distance. So they have measured, they have done a research, and they agree that it's a halfway of Africa. There's a hotel just next there, five-star hotel, Arusha Hotel. This hotel was designed to be there by Germans. There's two things that the Germans left behind, and we still have it, is the Arusha Central Market, where they started with a small house with a a thatch roof house those days but now by today it's a huge place where it's been renovated modernized but uh, it's still in the same same area the second thing is the Arusha hotel today is run or is operated by Sheraton so we call it four points by Sheraton it's just the building you'll see here uh, and then the last thing is the is the clock tower. From clock tower, if you turn right, you go up. You the road goes straight and enter end by the German bomber. So we don't go there first. We'll end up there, and then from there we we'll drive out. So the hotel here you see, that's Arusha Hotel. is four points run, operated by Sheraton. And there, that's the clock tower. We'll get. Uh, you go swing get, around. We will get around and then you can take a good photo of it. That's the halfway of Africa from Cape to Cairo. 
Wow. So here we can get off for those who wants to change the money into shilling. <laughs> we'll have a, just a few minutes before you go to the Maasai market. And we'll leave the bus here. You can come with me. I will show you. Um, around here you can make get people, people pushing you to buy. Just relax or you say, Hapana Asante. No, thank you. Hapana Asante. No, thank you. Hapana Asante. So right now, only get off if you want to change money. Yeah. Okay. For now, if you want to change money, come with me. 